This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Right, so we've got a bit of a fuel leak. Um, I noticed it when we got here. Uh, got loaded anyway, but um, we, uh, well, yeah, we, we're loaded with bricks. But um, noticed it when we got here, got loaded, reversed back here, contacted the boss, showed them the videos. Um, and yeah, so crouch recovery is coming out. Uh, hopefully they can fix it. If not, I'm going to be getting towed back, I think. so. Never mind. I uh, just spoke to the guys here because we're at, I can never pronounce it, Wiener Burger or something. I uh, just spoke to the guys here and, uh, well, they basically said thanks for letting them know. Uh, it's not as bad as they first thought it was going to be. Uh, and they even offered me to drop the trailer here overnight if need be. But I think the trailer needs to go down south anyway because we're in Birmingham. This load is for Taunton. So, um, I mean, if it was going north, maybe it would be helpful. But it's nice to be offered. Uh, so I did say thank you to them. Uh, he was very appreciative because I told him about the, the, you know, the diesel spillage. So yeah, all good. We're just waiting now 60 to 90 minutes for recovery to come out. In the meantime, I'm going to strap up, close the curtains, so we're good to go. And uh, yeah, probably have a break. <laughs> okay, so after about 45 minutes to 60 minutes, uh, NS Transport, or NS Clark Transport Limited come out. Uh, Crouch obviously uh, subcontracted the work onto them, they were closest. Uh, the bloke himself, very friendly chap, uh, knew what he was doing. He tilted the cab and I mean within like a minute or two he diagnosed the problem. Uh, the issue was a fractured diesel return pipe, um, so it was a very, very simple fix. Unfortunately he couldn't get any that day, there was none in the daft dealer, I had to wait until the morning. Uh, so I did stay there for the night, uh, then he come back in the morning, half past six, tilted the cab back up and fixed it. It's a very, very simple fix. Uh, here's a picture of the one that was broke. Uh, just basically where his finger is, it was leaking from there, but because it was high pressurized, it like squirts out really fast. Here's a picture of the new one. Uh, and yeah, within like five minutes of him turning up in the morning, putting that one on, we were good to go. And here we are now. <laughs> so we're on the M5, we're heading southbound. Uh, there was a little bit of traffic this morning at Birmingham on the M6 slash M5. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're slowly making our way. We're going down to Taunton. We're delivering a full load of bricks, as you saw earlier on. Uh, we've got 26 packs, 13 either side, and it's going to CRS Building Supplies in Taunton. Uh, we were supposed to be here for 8 o'clock this morning. Um, we're going to get there about 20 past 10. So it's not too bad, considering we were literally broken down. So, hey, you, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> anyway, uh, truth be told, I wasn't gonna vlog today uh, or yesterday, uh, but because of the breakdown, breakdown, I thought that'll do, that's clickbait, that'll get some views. So <laughs> that's why there's a video. <laughs> um, it's Thursday today. Um, we It's the same week that it was when we went to Scotland. Um, and uh, I haven't been home. <laughs> I left work, we left home Monday morning, and I've not been home all week, which is uh, it's quite rare for me to be out. But it is what it is. Uh, hopefully, we can get home today. If if not, then then you know. I mean, actually, I don't, I, I quite like staying out on Thursday nights because uh, it's just a lot better 
doing your shift and then coming home Friday, hopefully early, um, rather than going home Thursday night and then having to get back up again Friday morning for just a day. So Thursday nights are my, are my favourite nights to stay out, if I'm honest. But we're, we'll see what happens. Uh, we're only about 35 minutes away or so for my delivery point. Absolutely no idea what we're doing afterwards. Not a clue. Uh, from Taunton, if I'm going to have a guess, let's have a guess. From Taunton, I'm going to say we're probably going to go back up to Portbury Docks or something. Uh, but that's like, I have absolutely no idea. I could be completely wrong or I could be completely right. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. But uh, I've definitely gone up to, to Royal Portbury Docks from Taunton area before. So we will see. We will see. Anyway, let's crack on to CRS Building Supplies. Uh, we're fully strapped up, so it's going to take us 10 minutes or so to get the straps off and then uh, they can unload us. So, truck's fixed. Uh, very simple fix. Luckily, it looked it looked bad, <laughs> um, but yeah, we're on our way. Let's go. Oh, here comes the rain. I I knew it was going to rain. It just looked like it just looked like it was going to happen. Anyway, I think I come to the realization. Looking at my sat nav, there's a fuel station coming up, and uh, we're turning left after the fuel station, which <laughs> I think is. Uh, I don't have a fascination with Bradford's building supplies, but I think that's where we're going. We're not going to Bradford's, but we are going near near it. It's in the same estate. <laughs> it's probably why it looks familiar. <laughs> Let that van through. <laughs> Try to be kind. You got no reverse lights on your trailer, mate. Very bright lights on the foot. I was going to swear then. Very bright lights on the Discovery. Anyway, CRS building supplies. Where are ye? Oh, there they are. Uh, in, right, out, left. Where are you going, mate? Because I'm going right. Thank you. Can I go in this way? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, loads of room around here. Just looked a bit, looked a bit tight then. Oh, that was a bit tight on the left as well. Just missed the fence. <laughs> right, we're here. That's the main thing. I'm going to assume we drive around to the right and then uh, reverse down there and spin around and go that way. That's the way I assume. Right, let's uh, go and speak to someone. See you in a bit. Okay, so we, uh, we're tipping now. It's all done. Happy days. Right, we are, we are tipped. Uh, well, I've been in the truck now for like four minutes. Everything's done. The curtains are closed, ready to go. Just need two things. Firstly, someone to watch me back. Secondly, I need my paperwork. <laughs> That's probably more important. Uh, no one's given me my paperwork. And I got a feeling that the forklifters have just disappeared and forgot. But there is another lorry waiting to come in. So at some point they're going to be like, well, why aren't he gone yet? And then I can say, well, I need my paperwork. So yeah, just waiting for the paperwork. But it was quite funny when the other, the other lorry driver came in just now. And he was talking to the forklifters. And I was around the other side of the, of the trailer. And then like, he sort of like clocked me. It was quite funny. Right mate, I don't suppose the people who were tipped me, I'm just, just waiting for my paperwork and then I can go. Sorry? I'm just waiting for my paperwork and then I can leave. Do you know who tipped me? I don't know, I can't remember who I gave it to. It was like three of them. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Uh, yeah, the, the, the other lorry driver that come in, he sort of he spoke to the forklifters, and then I, I walked around the back of my trailer, and he sort of clocked me, and he did like a double take, just looked at me like that. And I knew straight away, because it happens all the time. And I was like, I just smiled, and I said, I just, I just smiled. And then he smiled back, because he knew that I knew that he knew who I was. <laughs> it, just, it was funny. It was funny. And it was like... He goes, do you still do them? Are you still, are you still doing it? 
I was like, yeah, I'm still doing it. So obviously he's seen a video in the past, but not like a, he's not like a, a person who watches regularly, but he's seen him in the past. But it's quite cool. He's had, had a little chat with him. Um, yeah, it happens, happens too often. People just take a double look and I'm like, hello. <laughs> Where's my paperwork, man? Come on, I can't even get out. As I got to blind it, well, kind of blind it. It's like a forty-five degree turn to the left, where there are like three flatbed little trucks, and then the lorry driver waiting to come in is going to come in, and then I'm going to go out the way I come in. That's the plan. Can't go anywhere yet. This guy's going to come back saying I've not given my paperwork to anyone. I've got a feeling. But I have. Did you, um, did you hand anyone the paperwork? Yeah, I give, yeah, I give it to someone. One of them. I don't know who it was. There was I, think, I think the forklift said 20 on it. Someone had it because I saw it on the back of the forklift. All right, mate. I had a feeling. I don't know who it was. I gave it to someone. There's a bloke. When I, when I first come in, I gave it to someone straight away. So uh, it doesn't happen often at places, but it does happen. The paper, it just gets misled. It's probably fell off somewhere on the forklift. I never, it's no one's fault. It's just someone's misplaced it by accident. But I never keep hold of paperwork. The first thing I do, whenever I come up, whenever, when I turned up, before I even open the curtains, I walk over to a forklift driver. I say, all right, mate, I've got delivery for you. Here's the paperwork and they take it off me. If they don't take it off me, I'll take it back to my truck, and as soon as I get in, before I even open the curtains, there's the paperwork, mate. The curtains don't open until they've got the paperwork in their hand. So they've definitely got it. What's this? Oh, I think he's got it there, look. Okay. Okay. Found it. Found it. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter, mate, no. Thank you very much. What's the best way of getting out? Because there's people behind me now, look. Yeah. Um, if you sort of back up on yourself, we'll get, get him in, in, and then I'll go out. Straight out. Cool. Right. We'll get everything moved, mate. No worries, mate. Right, we've got the paper. That's the main thing. That can go under Thursday's deliveries. We found out what we're doing next. We've got to go to Tetbury, get reloaded for a delivery. Can't remember where it's going now. But, um, around London Way, I think. But we're going to go back to the yard when we get loaded and we're done for the day. So I get to go in <laughs> and then do the, the delivery first thing in the morning. But uh, yeah, I can't remember, can't remember where it's going to. Not that bothered either because I don't need to worry about it today. That's the main thing. All right, just waiting for these to let me out now. Right, we've moved back. That lorry's now coming in. British Gymnasium. Gym Datum. Gypsum. Gypsum. Right, and we can now go out. Oh, he said hello back. <laughs> we can now go out the way in. Lovely jubbly. What are you doing, yellow car? You were going slow. It's, I don't know what this yellow car is doing. He's not sure if he's stopping or not. You stopping? Yep, okay. I could tell back there he was just being a bit weird. <laughs> Wasn't quite sure where he was going, I think. Right, anyway, we are unloaded and we are heading back. Good luck, mate, if you're, uh, if you're delivering where i just been. Uh, yeah, we're heading back to Tetbury now. We should be there in about an hour and 45 minutes. Give or take. Um, uh, get loaded and then we're going to go home. That's the plan. Could have, might have been able to have gone then. Uh, 
You're going right round. You are. Clear on the left still. By left, I mean behind me on the left. No one's coming down the inside. Just got to keep an eye on them. Ooh, paperwork nearly went off the dash. Anyway, right, let's crack on then. Get back down, or oh, back up rather, to, uh, to Tetbury, get loaded and, uh, and go home. We should, with a bit of luck, be home by half past three, four o'clock. Ah, oh, ruined it. Why did I have to say that? If you're looking to get into the HTV industry or you're already in the industry but want to refine your existing skills, I highly recommend that you purchase the Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. There is a link in the description down below. This thing is absolutely ram packed with information. Anything and everything you need to know regarding HTV is in this book. Go and buy it. Link is in the description down below. Okay, and we're loaded now out of Tetbury. I know you didn't see anything. That's my bad. I forgot. <laughs> um, we are loaded for two drops. Uh, to go into London tomorrow. One of them is Epsom, which is like just inside the M25. Yeah, I was worth. So they're the two that we've got to do tomorrow morning. And then from Islesworth, we're going to Park Royal, which is sort of near Wembley, I believe. Uh, we're gonna get loaded with uh, storage boxes. It's, uh, it's some work that we do for, uh, for someone every now and then. It's literally just big old, wooden storage boxes that people pay to, to store their stuff in and we're transporting it from uh, from one location to another which is going to be ending up in uh, in a hangar in an airfield uh, near the Gliders Calf in Gloucestershire. Um, there's an airfield there by Minch and Amstead. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go and have a shower uh, and go sleep in my own bed tonight, have some hot food with my wife. Uh, I'll see you. Uh, in, a sh in a little while, but for me it'll be, uh, be the next day, hopefully uh, looking a lot fresher. Right, see you in the morning. And good morning everybody, how are you doing? It is the next day, it is Friday, it's the last day of the week. Anyway, uh, today we, uh, we know roughly what we're doing. I, I'm, not, I'm just waiting on the collection address. I know where I'm going roughly, but not exactly where. Anyway, our first job today is going to Epsom. Uh, we're literally just around the corner now. I think we got like six pallets for this. It was going to be more, but um, they didn't have any in stock or made to go. So there's only six for this first drop. Um, from Epsom, we're going to, I think it was Islesworth, which is slightly more inside the M25. We've got 11 pallets for them. And then we've got to go get reloaded from Park Royal uh, with storage boxes, which is then gonna to go to an airfield later on this afternoon up near Stroud. So that's the plan. That's the plan for today. Like I said, I'm just waiting for the uh, details on the collection. I'll, uh, I'll send the boss a message when I'm at the second drop, just confirming where that is. Okay, the place that we are looking for is called the Old Moat, I believe. I think that's what it was called. The Old Moat Garden Centre. And it should be on the right-hand side of this roundabout. Should be. Now, I phoned him up yesterday and asked what time I can deliver in the morning. I told him who I am, what I've got. Half past nine, they said. Which is why we've started slightly later today. Uh, we actually... I mean, right now it's 10 to 9, so we will be getting here early. There it is, look, the old moat's starting to gate in. So, yeah, we are actually here early, but uh, never mind. Hopefully the gates are open. Looks like we're going to have to take a nice wide swing to get in. The gates are not open, so hazard's on, because the gates are not open yet. Luckily, there's loads of room here. Uh... I think it's going to be a case of either waiting on the road or going straight in, but we're going to have to uh, go and tell him I'm here first, I think. So, I'm going to go, go tell him I'm here, see you in a bit. Right, I haven't, right, I haven't actually gone in. Um, someone just looked and put my hand up. They put their hand up and now they're opening the gates. <laughs> Ooh, radio off. Yeah. 
Morning. Yeah. No, no problem. Lovely, thank you. Oh, there's a Turn it around, back up down there. Lovely Jubilee. Just want to make sure they've got enough room either side. I don't know what kind of fault lift they got. Got more on the left than I do the right, so I'm just gonna budge over a bit more on the left. There we go. Right, anyway, let's go get this off and then we can crack on to the next job. I'm gonna put the next destination into the sat nav ready to go because I pre-planned, so I put all the destinations in yesterday. <laughs> so the next destination is already in the sat nav and now it's already gonna take me there. How long does it take to get here from there from here? 31 miles, uh, one hour I think that is. Yeah, 59 minutes. Right, see you in a bit. It's a hard life, being a truck driver, delivering to garden centres, just casually sitting down on a bench, enjoying the views. Right, we are not too far around the corner now. Gotta take a left here. Gonna take up two lanes just in case I need it. Clearly says unsuitable for HDVs there. That sign said unsuitable for HDVs. Alright, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I think we'll take this next left and see if it's any better. There was a sign, there was a sign there saying unsuitable, so. Ah, a bit annoying. There's two, there's two train tracks. Well, there's bridges. Either side, either left. Because I did see this one as well, and I thought, well, that's the one the sat-nav's taken me. My truck sat-nav. I'm gonna go left here, but I will need to take up both lanes. Hmm. Can't see any signs on this one saying unsuitable, so hopefully it'll be alright. Come on, turn green. Turning left. Right, I don't see any signs. We're only half a mile away, it's just up here. And that other left brought us in the other direction. So, that might have been the right call there. Just about to take that left turn and then I saw the sign in the corner of my eye saying no HDVs. Then this looks quite residential, Luke. Red route, no stopping. Well, I knew it was a red route, that's why I phoned up earlier. 
asking if I can drive straight in, and they said yes. Where are you going? We're going left? Yeah. Like, we're, <laughs> we're 800 yards away, it's just up the road. You can see why you can't, like, park a truck on this road. People might struggle to get past you. Are you crossing? It's a bit narrow here. Right, so there's a train track coming up now, I believe. I believe. Let's see if this one says unsuitable. No, nah, we can we can go over this one, and it's just here on the left. Look. It's a bit weird. Anyway, I need to be on the other side of the road to get in by the looks of it. Let everyone know I'm here. Ah, spin round here if need be. Am I going down there? I don't know. No idea. <sighs> Looks like I'm going for a walk. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Right, we're tipped. We've been here for 14 minutes. So that was lovely and quick. 14 minutes. Uh, whilst they were unloading me, I jumped in the, into the truck, I put the postcode in for a destination, they signed the paperwork straight away, so we're good to go. Just say bye, hazards off, indicate right. I'm going to go out the way we came in, because I don't want to come across that uh, unsuitable for HGV sign again. Lovely doubly. So yeah, we're on our way now to Park Royal. ETA 35 minutes. We're on, uh, we've got an hour and a half of drive time left before we have to have a break. So we're gonna head straight there and then uh, find somewhere, we're gonna get loaded and then find somewhere to, uh, to park on the way uh, back towards home, if you like. We've got to go, go to Glider's Calf, which is, uh, well, we've got to go to the airfield near Glider's Calf, which is near Stroud, which is near Gloucester, well, it's in Gloucestershire. So yeah, we're going to make our way now to go and get these uh, these storage boxes. It looks like one-way streets, so it could be fun. Uh, it doesn't look like there's an awful lot of room at the place we've got to get loaded either. Uh, I could I could be filling the whole thing up. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, let's crack on anyway. I'll see you when we get there. Right, we're only a mile and a half away now. We are pretty much in Park Royal. Uh, traffic is has been a little bit of a nightmare, not going to lie. But uh, we're here. Yeah, you know when you're in London because it, it just takes you ages to get anywhere. We've been we've been like two miles away for the last 15 minutes. Like anywhere else, that would take two minutes to get there, maybe four a push. Right, we're now less than a mile away from where we need to be. Uh, traffic's been a little bit of a nightmare. Not too bad, but uh, just, just mainly traffic lights more than anything. They just take forever to turn. Ba, ba, ba. Come on. Oh, someone else comes down. Oh, is that an Arctic coming down? It is. Keep going, mate. You're going to have to stay there, Mr. Rigid. 
encore. Well observed. A little bit tight, but uh, we're getting past. Excellente. I thought they were Coca-Cola trucks then. Are we going right here? Okay, off you go. Keep going, thank you. We want to turn right here when we've got the opportunity to. You're going very slow, mate. Make up your mind. I'm trying to turn right. Thank you. Okay, we've got a couple of roundabouts to navigate and then they're quite squeaky, aren't they? Squeaky brakes. A couple of roundabouts to navigate, go over them both, I believe, and then take a right down a one-way road. Ah, now we're going, we're going right at the second roundabout. Straight over this one, right at the second. Same place that lorry's going. I hope that lorry isn't going to the actual place I'm going to. Turn right. Right, this is the one-way street. Or a one-way street. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's the one-way street. So we need to take a left. Hopefully we get the right left. next to Daft, so there's Daft there. If I break down, we've got somewhere to go. I think it's the other side of this one. That van is parked in a right dodgy place. Nah, because of where that van is, I can't turn left. Right, I'm going to have to try and find someone. Do you know whose blue van that is, mate? Is that yours? Well, mate. Yes. You get, you get about that, can you? That little bubble behind you. This yeah. bubble is too soft. What's that? The bubble is too soft. What's too short? The bubble is too soft. Mobile? No, no, not the bubble. Bubble is too soft. The bubble, bubble. Oh, for me? No, 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 not for me. Oh, right. Okay, just keep back with you. So I got traffic going, mate. I got to get in here. If you go back, I'll get in. Then you got room then. Bloody London. Van driver's like, oh, can you go back? Not really, mate. I've got traffic behind me. I've deliberately taken this a little bit too wide so I don't hit the van, but it's too wide. <laughs> There we go.
I'm going to be wanting these units here. Go away, whoever you are. Unit six, but well, Edwards are here, so this is who we want. How's it going, mate? You all right? Yeah, oh, I'll make the way. I'll spin around. Good job that owner of the blue van come out because if he didn't we would have uh, probably have had to gone round again a few times until we found out who it was who owned it but now nah, he come out quite quick so that was quite fortunate He just wants me to park up here. Lovely, lovely. Right. Oh. oh, it's all happening in London. Right, let's get loaded. There you go, just to give you an example of what they look like, because that's one box going on. And they'll load the whole, the whole thing up. So I thought I'd just go and show you the corner that I just had to make. Oh, he's parked there again, look. Parked right on the corner. That blue van. So I couldn't, couldn't quite get in. Anyway, on the way out, so there we are over there. On the way out, we'll be turning left. So, uh, should be all right. The back wheels might go on the curb a little bit as I go around, but not the end of the world. But yeah, no, it's a, it's a little bit tight getting around and up here, but never mind, we're in. That's the main thing. And uh, as you can see, we're getting loaded. Happy days. Okay, and we're tipped. 10 minutes. Tipped, we're loaded. <laughs> 10 minutes is all that took. Let's close the window because there's an alarm going off over there. So, that's how how quick that was i like i like doing this work with the uh the storage it's just so easy <laughs> right um so we're just going to put that into the sat nav where we're going next which is back uh towards home pretty much it's 109 miles going to be there for about 10 past two if we leave now however they very kindly said we can have a break here because we're on three and a half hours driving so yeah it's gonna get breaking now and uh you will arrive at your destination at 14. carry on after our 30 minute break that's what we're gonna do so i'll see you we'll probably be on the road we'll probably be like nearly there when i see you next i'm just gonna chill out now for a little bit i'm just gonna have the windows down because it's getting hot you have to bear with the, bear with the noise i am from a break right ignition off i'm gonna chill on my phone see you in a bit Okay, you join me two hours and 40 minutes later. Uh, and if you, well, I was going to say, if you look to the left, on the left-hand side, you might be able to see some gliders and we are delivering to one of the hangars. Uh, and we've got a, I think we've got a cross right there, right where the hangars land. So we've got to keep an eye out on them. The last, I've only, I've only been here once before and it's quite a while ago. And uh, I was told to go in a certain way certain gate and the gate was closed that look there's a car there there's a car going on that bit of road so maybe we will be allowed who knows we'll see we will see so um yeah we're gonna we're gonna go in the same way i was told last time to go hopefully that'll be the correct way uh now we do need to go into a weight limit so my sat nav right now is like oh you're in a weight limit because it wouldn't it, would, it refused to take me down here <laughs> but um we have to go down here and we just need to take a left 
take a left in three, well, zero point three miles. Ah, I remember now. There's a there's a there's a buzzer here. Keypad machine. Can we sneak in behind him? <laughs> Let's give it a go. We're definitely going to give it a go. Because I know where I'm going. Go on there, mate. Yeah, I'm sneaking in. I'm sneaking in. So I'm just going to do exactly what I did last time. I was told to go right round, like go left. Even though there is a sign here saying go right. Hang on. Okay, maybe I do have to go right, because I went through that gate last time. Okay, we are we are now going in a different way. The hangers are down there. This should take us there. Yeah, there they are, those two hangers over there. Sort of 11 o'clock position. And there are the hangers we're going to. Okie dokie. On the runway. Pretty much, well, that's the runway there. So we're going around the runway. You might be going to the same place we are. Quite possibly. What's that? That's a parachute. What was that? Something coming out of the air, man. It had like a spike on it and it was... What was that? Oh, you don't know. Oh, you don't know. Oh, you don't know what that was. Uh, they're, they're the uh, places we're going to over there. What an, what an amazing place this would be to do a night out at. Because, like, this is all private road, isn't it, now? Danger, keep off grass, aircraft landing. What will do Say no more. Anyway, these hangers. I've got a lorry right behind me as well. Right, which one do we want to go in? Last time I come in the first one, and then they changed their mind time we go in the second one. There's a forklift down here, so I'm going to go see him. See what he says. Right, we tipped. How long was that? 13 minutes. All right, bud, see you, mate. Yeah, sorry, so uh, we got no paperwork. I just said, to the, just said to the bloke we just delivered to, do we have anything? He said no, so uh, just wanted to double check with a boss. Anyway, 14 minutes now. Let's get out of here. Mark it in reverse. Last time I was here, just, just as I was about to leave, some foreign van driver got behind me and uh, was blocking the way to getting out. Lovely, that'll do. It gets us out. 
Right, we're not in a rush. But we're in a rush. <laughs> no, we're not We're not in a rush. We just, uh, we just want to get going, that's all. So we've got to go to Tetbury now. They close at four o'clock, which is in 50 minutes' time. And uh, it's ten past four now, so... And it takes about half an hour to get there. So we're going to get there. We're going to get there on time, but just want to make sure we get there on time, do you know what I mean? Get out of this place first. That is uh, what we've got to do. A couple of lorries coming down this corner. Just take it steady as I pass them. Take it nice and wide. You're welcome. Went wide for you, mate. You didn't even get a thanks. Cheers, mate. Right. No hangers coming in, not I can see. No hangers? No gliders, I mean. Can't see any gliders coming down. Uh, where are we? Where are we? What do we do here? Do we go left or right? Left or straight on, I mean. Yeah, straight on. <laughs> Lose track of the direction that you took. Straight on. That's it, we're approaching the runways now. We'll go around the runway and then uh, parallel to the runway. Hang fire, they will open, eventually. <coughs> when you're ready, Gates. Need some oil on that one, it's a bit slow. Right, our Friday is nearly complete, so yeah, like I said, all we've got to do now is go and get loaded, ready for Monday morning, and then we are done. So, I'm going to end this video here, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. For me, it's been a busy week, uh, the last two vlogs, this one and the one beforehand, was, uh, was all done in this week alone, went up to Scotland and back. Uh, it's been a good week, been a tiring week. Uh, been home, for, been away from home for three nights, which is uh, I don't mind doing it, but it's not often I do it. And next week we oh, we've got a busy week next week. I believe I'm running backwards and forwards. Oh come on, I'm running backwards and forwards from Oxford to London, or or most of next week. So um, let me out. So uh, I think there's a few nights out next week as well. But extra money at the end of the day, isn't it? Thank you, mate. Cheers. Extra money, so uh, can't moan too much. And I, I kind of do like staying out, if I'm honest. It's just uh, the wife wants me home. <laughs> right, anyway, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. See you later. Bye-bye.